Ashley. Hey, Andrew. Well, unfortunately, we have our first accident in the morning, which has actually closed a stretch of I-275 southbound right near M14. So if this is part of your morning commute, you will want to use Haggerty or Newburgh to get around the mess right near M14. In addition, let's take a live look at 696 at Woodward. We're looking at smooth sailing here. No major issues to report, and it's looking dry along 696. However, if you are waking up in Farbington Hills, stay with us at 614. I have an update on some ongoing construction along Grand River. Back to you, Guy and Rhonda. A Christ selling shares to the public. And Quiznos fans in Detroit, you will want to hear about Groupon's new offer. Bloomberg's Jane King standing by live at the New York Stock Exchange for us this morning. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Guy and Rhonda. Good morning, too. Well, Delphi Automotive has hired some big banks and hopes to raise a billion dollars in an IPO. And in fact, Delphi is so close, they may file the paperwork next week and sell shares this fall. Now, Delphi did exit bankruptcy in the fall of 2009 and has since been owned by private firms who want to profit on that investment. Well, home building continues. Oh, well, the drivers are doing fine with the exception along I-275 southbound, actually near M-14. That stretch of I-275 is closed due to an accident. Let's take a live look. I-275 75 right at five mile for our southbound commuters. It is quite a parking lot in the area. Police are on the scene. We are getting reports that this accident does involve three vehicles. We will keep you updated throughout the show as we get more details in on that. If you are waking up in Farmington Hills, Grand River will be another trouble spot for you. Westbound between eight mile to Purdue. Extra lanes will be blocked today in the construction zone from 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. So use caution and give yourself some extra time. Over to you, Rhonda. Ashley, thank you. Making headlines this morning, a 51-year-old man in Hazel Park is accused of trying to run over his wife. Police say that Theodore